another update here for you guys today on uh, another project uh, update on this DIY project on MPP Solar PEEP 5048MG batteryless hybrid inverter chargers. So you guys have seen the series as I was going with them back and forth. And you guys have seen the installation of the uh, um, the cards, the parallel cards, and all of a sudden, and I made another video how to wire them, and I finish up showing you guys how to wire them, and now I'm back and did a wire management system. Everything is right on the uh, on the gutters right here. Feed all the uh, communication lines, and. Um, and the uh, sensing wires, this is the one that I do for the parallel thing, for the current sensing. So everything is already neat and nice. You can see all these uh, communication cables right there. Everything is in pairs. So today I'm taking you to another era, a new, another subject, which uh, pertain to the same thing what we're doing here, which going to be our power system. We're getting close to the uh, for the installation of this system. You guys have seen the batteries. Uh, you guys seen I did a review on the batteries, the, the Nissan Leaf. So you've seen that, everything, how I teared up everything and rebuilt, put them, configure everything. So this guy is going to be working hand in hand with that system and see how everything goes from here. We hoping all we hope for all the best and everything turn out pretty good. Then you guys can see. Stay tuned. Let me take you to the new surprise. To the other surprise, no new, the other surprise, because I was trying to do these videos in, uh, all in sequence so that you guys can have a proper understanding how everything has to come to play and how everything um, goes step by step till the end. Stay tuned. Like this video, please subscribe and share. This is the other thing I was going to talk about because I'm done configuring all those um hybrid inverters, everything done. And uh, these are the uh, transformers. If um, you haven't seen these transformers, they are step up and step down transformers. Look at that, made by seven star. So these are the TC-5000G, that means it's a five kilowatt transformer. They are made for international and the North America or the con any country that use a 120, 110, 120 volt uh, power. This is what we're dealing with here, folks. So we have two of them. Each is going to tie on um, each uh, uh, unit, which uh, each uh, peep, a 5,000 watts each, and another 5,000 on the other one then we're going to be tying this. I'm going to explain this. So don't get confused or don't get too much excited yet. Wait, hold on. I'm going to show you how everything is going to be done here the right way. Okay? We do the best. So here you can see what um, the, uh, the transformers are. So it converts electricity from 220 to 40 volt to 110 and it steps it down to 110, 120 volt. AC, so it can take the voltage again, vice versa, from 110 volt to 200 uh, to 120 volt AC, which is America, and the 240, 220, 240 is the international. That's for Europe and Asia, uh, Europe and uh, Africa, and some other countries in the world. Okay, so I want you to see. How everything, this is just uh, uh, to show you guys um, how everything is getting ready. Everything is getting closer for the uh, uh, the launching so that we can launch this uh, system big time. And you guys, all of you guys going to be you know, proud of you guys, proud, proud of yourself because you've been from start, from the day one and all the way to the launching, which I'm really happy for you guys. You stay in and you stay there with me and you guys been working back and forth and watch my videos and give a like and you share my videos. Keep doing that, guys. Everything you guys do helps a lot. I'm doing this thing for you guys 
and let's take a look on the other side of the box and see what is there what is said on the other thing about this one old device so this is what it says so i want to i want you to read it or you know as uh, um you watching it here you see on the back of the transformer select the voltage according to the country of use okay so we know that we're in america okay so at 120 volt uh country which is united states which is the usa set the input voltage to 110 volt and 120 volt countries in europe middle east asia and africa etc sets the voltage switch to 220 volt that's ac after selecting the correct voltage correct correct input voltage on the back of the transformer push the on and off switch to the on position check the watt of your uh, equipment to make sure you are not exceeding the max wattage of the converter which is the inverter okay some people they sometimes call it converter inverter so don't confuse yourself it's the same thing so you see the thing and please remember to multiply the watt consumption of the equipment by two to five times to the account of voltage spike when you first turn the equipment on i'm reading on the other side so please call the retailer you purchase from for more information so i have not read it on the screen because it looks awkward so guys this is the thing this is what we have here this is what we have here this is the big deal right here so we are going step by step on this one old install and making these videos for you guys to be really easy and simple if you decide to follow the footsteps or the way I've been doing this stuff yes it's nice but you are liable to anything you do and um, I'm not liable for that if it cause any problem to you this is um, this is a uh, entertainment video this is uh, just to show what I'm doing here you can do stuff according to how you want to do it and you are responsible or liable for anything you do so just to let you guys know these are oh boy these are the inverters uh sorry the transformers see that it has a breaker here on and off switch it has a 240 220 outlet 120 volt dc uh, sorry ac right there so you can go either or you can get a 120 here and 240 here output so let's take this guy and flip it in the back here these are all the other good stuff back here you want to see um these are the ones they be talking about on the box okay yeah, you have to see before you turn the system on make sure you set the thing accordingly so it's an input voltage selector so for the hybrids now the peep uh 5048 they, you have to set it on the 240 because they are 230 volt ac is the input it's gonna feed you see the the the, the, the wire the plug is different that tells you cannot fit on the American thing, but you can feed this one. You can go either or. So if you want, you can cut this stuff and put a regular plug. That's fine. Whatever you want to do that fits for your application. But this one's going to go on the other side like a disconnect breaker or whatever. The power comes from the inverter and comes in here, which is a two, 230 volt so it's already set right here this is the correct setting right here so you can able to pop this guy it's just like a jumper it's a little uh thing that bridge the thing so it's for america you're gonna just plug it right there it gives you the 240 right there so that means you feed in 110 volts power is given back a 240 
on the other side okay here gives you 240 out here so this is the thing so we want to have this stuff jumper to be right there because the hybrids are high voltage ac and it's going to be given high voltage uh, a low voltage voltage ac which is the united states well i hope i cover everything here you guys can see both of them oh guys i forgot to t to show you this it comes with a two fuses each and this is the converter for the american uh 110 120 volt um outlet uh for your house these are the the fuses two for each so this is the device right here so if you're curious so really these are the uh, transformers so one of them just turned backwards the other one is at the front so they can able to see all of them together so i hope um i answer your question if you have any doubt and uh you guys can uh email me or you can send me uh a text on the description below comments below here is the fuse thing right here let's check if yeah it has one inside so a total of three so if you blew one you know what to get and oh speaking about it let's be just specific here and see what the fuse number okay that's a kind of big uh fuse you can see that so i don't know if you can read it on the camera but it says uh it says um 30 amp 250 volt oh i was off the camera okay where's my hand there you go there you go see that let's see oh just make this thing possible there you go 30 amp 30 amp 250 volt ac so guys this this is the deal and everything looks great um i'm happy i uh, want to get all this stuff done for you guys and see exactly how everything went Thank you for watching. So I want to give a shout out to all my fans, all my subscribers around the world, the United States, Europe, Middle East, Asia, Africa, the Caribbean, and um, all these other places around the world. You know, I know you guys watch my videos. I really appreciate that. And thank you guys for so much, so, so much. Everywhere. United States, Europe, Middle East, Africa, Asia. Thank you guys for watching all my videos. And thanks for subscribing. Keep subscribing. Let's keep doing the thing. And uh, I'm going to get you all the latest. Keep on bringing you more stuff. You know, subscribe, subscribe, share the videos you know, share my videos on your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and even on a Google Plus everywhere. So this helps a lot so that I can be able to bring you more content coming live from this channel. Thank you guys. And I love you guys. I wish you all the best. Stay tuned for vision of this install. You guys will love it. You'd love it. Trust me. I know you guys will love it. Thank you for now. Bye.
for you guys and see exactly